Should you or should you not bring your settlement expert to the mediation? Hi, I'm John Dare, and today we're talking settlement, specifically mediations. And there are many ways that a settlement expert could actually be of help to uh, both the attorneys and, if, if applicable, the adjusters at a mediation. Let's talk about a few of them. First of all, a settlement expert, number one, can um, address any specific element of damages in real time. So if there's, there's settlement discussions over a specific element of damages, a settlement expert can provide instantaneous calculations or calculations within a few minutes to address any specific needs. If you are at a mediation in New York, a JAMS or Endispute, JAMS End Dispute or Resolute Systems or one of the New York mediation centers, uh, a good qualified structured settlement expert who has expertise in CPLR 50A or 50B can run those calculations uh, in real time and make adjustments in response to the other side and give a realistic picture of what it's going to cost the other side if it's assuming it's a defendant or what, it's going to, what it, the benefits are to the plaintiff if you are the, def the uh, defendant. You want to get a realistic picture of what uh, it's going to cost if a 50B judgment would happen, specifically making adjustments for different elements of damages. That's a bit, that can be a big help. Sometimes people um, ask for too much or ask for too little, but a, a 50B projection or 50A projection can uh, really quantify those numbers. Uh, a person can, who is a settlement expert can obtain rated ages, have them at the mediation, and uh, uh, address different issues regarding the plaintiff's life expectancy um, because there might be disputes over a plaintiff's life expectancy. However, it gives a basis for uh, some discussion um, in that regard, particularly if there's a workers' comp element or a Medicare set-aside element, uh, that can be very, very useful. Other ways that a, uh, a settlement expert could be very helpful and very useful to people at mediation is, uh, many times in a mediation, if you're, particularly if you're working with plaintiffs, uh, their attorney pops out of the room, the mediator calls them out of the room, the defense attorney calls the plaintiff attorney out of the room, and the plaintiff is sitting there all alone contemplating the situation. Litigation, in case anybody hasn't figured out, is not a, not a very pleasant experience for most people. It's a roller coaster ride. And when you're sitting all alone in a mediation center, and it, it's an extremely stressful process. So very often, a settlement expert who's there, particularly one who has sudden money expertise, has the ability to help manage the client's transition stress. Uh, they can do some transition work to understand where the client is, uh, to help them uh, visualize um, uh, the potential for a new normal. Just basically ask questions that can help um, relieve the stress and make the time much more productive rather than having them contemplate what a horrible feeling it is to sit all alone and uh, react to somebody's offer that they perceive as too low. A settlement expert is there to answer technical questions, whatever they may be. Uh, in particular, if the structured settlement it turns out to be something that the uh, plaintiff is interested in, uh, then it's important to have somebody there who can make sure that the structured settlement documentation, nothing happens at the mediation that um, basically eviscerates the plaintiff's ability to structure. Sometimes it happens, so it's important to have somebody there who can make sure the documentation is proper. Two, a uh, structured settlement uh, expert can add another set of eyes and ears. Depending upon the intellectual capacity and experience of the uh, settlement expert, uh, they may be able to add some additional valuable input that can be useful to both the uh, client and to the client's counsel. A uh, structured settlement expert can respond to developments during the mediation. In some cases, for example, I've been called upon to do fine granular research about a particular issue, the cost of housing, uh, what the uh, cost of a particular school is. Uh, one never knows until you're actually in the mediation what's important to someone, uh, but somebody who is there, who is a financial expert, such as a settlement expert, uh, can be uh, very useful for that particular purpose. And lastly, uh, when it comes to people who are in transition, which many plaintiffs are, uh, somebody who has, who's a settlement expert but is also a sudden money expert um, is specially trained to deal with um, financial transitions. People who are, are going through, uh, who have a personal injury case, are going through a, um, have had an ending. Um, there, eventually there will be a new normal, but that new normal is not happening at the mediation. So it's very, very important to have somebody that can help 
orientate a person to where they are because some people with the fog that they're in because of the mediation may not even know where they are and uh, the mediation adds a level of stress that is not productive to, to moving things forward. So somebody who has transitions expertise, um, their skills can be put to good use during a mediation at the mediation rather than having necessarily a separate meeting in the client's office. When Instead of leaving the client alone in the room to contemplate whatever uh, you know, it, that adds to their stress, to have somebody there who can uh, make a product, who is specially trained as a transitionist and also to help manage that client's stress. Extremely helpful. Um, if you have any questions about uh, the, the uh, usefulness of having a, a structured settlement expert or a settlement expert or sudden money expert at the mediation, please feel free to call me. My name is John Darrow. You can reach me at 888-325-8640. Thank you very much. We've been talking settlement.